Clogged storm drains are causing issues in Colorado Springs following heavy rain earlier this week. Now El Paso County officials are asking for your help in addressing this problem. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the intersection of 8th Street and Motor City Drive in southwest Colorado Springs to show us an example of the issue. Scott. Well, where I'm standing down on the street here is a drain is fully clogged. You can see no runoff draining out of that at all. So water ends up flowing to the next nearest drain, which thankfully isn't clogged. Clogged drains normally are not a problem until rain washes rock, sediment, trash, and other debris down a street. Uh, adding to the situation is that this summer, there's more debris than usual created by wind storms and a late season snowstorm in the past year that produced more tree limbs, branches, and leaves to clog these storm drains. Crews in El Paso County and at Colorado Springs constantly work to clear these drains, but with such a large area to cover, they can't, of course, be everywhere at once. So they tell us what you should do if you see a clogged storm drain. So if they are blocked, I'd actually ask it'd be better if you called us. It's a lot easier for us to clean them than to ask citizens to kind of get down in there and um, try and clean them themselves. Don't want people to do that. No. I'm asking. I'm asking for citizen uh, citizen assistance. I want to make it clear that El Paso County is the size of the state of Delaware, um, and I've got four sweepers, and so I can't be at all places at all times. So if you see it, call it in. We'll we'll get to it when we can. But if it's something that you can address uh, immediately as a good neighbor, I ask that you do that. Now, El Paso County Public Works says that if you decide to unclog a storm drain, don't do it during a storm and please do it safely. But even if a storm drain is clear, it won't help much to reduce street flooding if much of the same debris in interfering with that runoff goes into drainage channels as well. And we'll tell you more about that coming up at 6. We are live in Southwest Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.